haul in my previous video I did it's time to let go I spoke about the hawk that flew up on this tree here and he's still there he's weathering the storm <coughs> and I instantly thought of this rock that I showed you all the other day and this is actually my hawk rock but somebody broke his fucking head off so I feel like somebody was like um causing you to lose your confidence causing you to I see someone like with their head in the clouds now and they kind of lost their place on their path on their journey and when this hawk came it's like whatever was shattered I'm actually seeing now that it was a false sense of confidence a false sense of security and they actually broke you down and it's time for you to build yourself back up it's like you were left there down and no one no one helped you up I'm seeing but the divine the divines the earth angels were keeping you afloat I'm seeing so I want to see who these individuals are that was causing you to lose your confidence. Who is this person? Mm, could have been someone that you were working with. Someone who was on your team. Someone who was on your team. Someone that you actually really enjoyed your time with. I just heard they took you for every day they, they they took everything and if this isn't only financially maybe they took your money they took all your fucking money and left but i'm seeing like they took all your energy from you they fully stripped you away from who you were but through that stripping away through those peeling of the layers i feel like it reviewed your it revealed caused you to review who you truly were and it revealed your purest self i'm seeing what they did whatever they did if they were saying hurtful things or doing hurtful things they actually caused you to step into your power they caused you to get a reality check so you can start to make wise investments in the people that you're in union with and even how you view love, how you think about love. I'm seeing it being shifted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It caused you a lot of heartbreak and pain, though. You were really sad and hurt about this. And you felt like that collaboration was a good investment. I'm actually also seeing with, with that partnership that you had, you actually reviewed Ooh, why am I keep saying reviewed? Somebody was making a review? Or somebody was really criticizing you, possibly? Or you to them? But I'm seeing like you were your truest self with them. You felt that being in that group was a wise investment. But maybe you were trying to... You or they were trying to control a certain outcome. I'm seeing a lot of clingy, clinginess in this situation. A lot of possessive controlling energy yeah look at that three three huh wow temperance off the table they're trying to get you out of character they're trying to get you out of character, trying to make you question who you are, even question the things that you're doing. Mmm. The investments that you are making. You're probably building up your legacy, trying to, you know, create long-term goals. I'm seeing not just for you, but for everyone around you. 
And whatever happened in the past, like I said, it allowed you to reveal your purest self and push you right into destined and fated events. Within your unions, within your finances. I'm seeing you're going to be seeing a lot of material gain in these times. A lot of material gain for whatever you went through. For whoever was holding you back and causing you to feel like you're not enough in your truest essence. Yeah, look, they were trying to keep you closed off from new opportunities, from new relationships. Even trying to keep you closed off from going out and just enjoying life. I'm seeing someone getting ready. It's like she's ready, but she's not confident enough to even accept any offers. Or even to feel any emotions at the time. When I'm seeing there was a lot of people around you that saw you as emotional fulfillment. As the one. And that's probably why they were so worried. Because they knew that they weren't the right one for you. Yeah, look, they knew that they weren't the right one for you. So they're trying to keep you stuck in an illusion. That false sense of security. They're trying to make you feel like you're delusional. I'm like hearing like they're calling you crazy and shit. Or Tree of Cups. Yeah, it could have been a, a friend group. Or even... could be a friend that you're trying to date co-workers yeah it could be co-workers intuition someone's intuition was already telling them that there's better <laughs> there's better but they were keeping themselves you them i'm saying they because whatever you were keeping yourself stuck in a situation that nothing was growing and you were worried to walk out of that gate but the chariot's right behind it it's like you had the opportunity to leave Whenever you wanted to, to abandon the situation, but you chose to stay because you lack the confidence to make a move. Yeah, really guarded. Look at that. There's that four of pentacles that came up. But that's their energy too, right? They're trying to clean, control, or you take it how it fits. But keeping you guarded, it's like your heart space was open. You were very in touch with your heart space. But because you're so guarded, you were blocking out your victory and success. You are blocking out people even giving you the recognition that you deserve. Causing you to not open up. And all you desired was security and stability and love. And the divines are handing that right to you. It's like you always had it though. You always, see she's holding it. You always had the power to do so. To go after what you want. To stand up for yourself. To make a move. To take action. To stand up for yourself. Make a move and take action. But you chose to figure out a way to live within the chaos. All right, let's close this out a little. I will read some angels and ancestors. You know, it's time. It's time to honor your inner knowing traitor they could be making you feel like you're going to be a traitor for leaving them but in order to in order for new things to come in you have to exchange energy to create abundance you must exchange your past for your present moment and your future 
Yes, so you can harness your mystic powers, high priestess. You know, being very nurturing and loving to self at this time. Yes. Oh, well, I guess you aren't. Okay, so maybe you're being called to because someone's not maintaining their garden, not maintaining the seeds they planted, and possibly because you're in a space where you can't. But you're being called to follow the voice of your soul. Your ancestors have been guiding you. Traitor, once again. So I'm seeing somebody's, somebody is stuck between following the voice of their soul and feeling like they're going to be a traitor stuck between whether they want to exchange something to create abundance within their life all right give me some guided give me a light nice message to close this off spirit how can we help them move forward and tap into their confidence again Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. I'll read this from the book for you and close this off. Let go of the need to be right, keeping the peace. I'm feeling the divine saying that you've been keeping the peace, but I'm like, just let other, I'm hearing let others burn out their own energy. There we go. Choose peace and happiness over the need to be right. Rather than trying to prove a point, save your energy for what's important. The peacekeeper is a wise Native American woman who has been influenced by a white buffalo woman. She holds the peace pipe, which is surrendering the need to fight and offering harmony instead. She is a soul who knows what it's like to feel under threat and to stand up for what she believes in and what is right. Her medicine helps you take the higher road in every situation. Even if you're under pressure to make a quick decision, it is a reminder that within your hands lies the power to make the right choice for all involved. You may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation there's a warrior within you that wants to rise up, prove your point, and get the truth across. But you're being reminded by ancestor wisdom that the truth will always be revealed in the end. It's more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated discussions where you know you'll be fighting a losing battle. There is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intuition that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation, along with any wounds it may have inflicted upon you. Choose peace. You know it's calling you. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm feeling like... I feel like this was a long journey for you. I just heard round and around and around. Oh. Oh, that's that stay by Rihanna. Round and around and around and around. Not really sure how I feel about Something in the way you Someone's begging someone to stay. I don't know if this is you or your person, but I feel like someone's begging me. Maybe you're begging them to stay. Maybe they're begging you, but maybe they're asking for another chance. I'm seeing all of this raindrops as a lot of tears. Like, maybe they're just afraid of you leaving. I don't know what it was. Maybe you're afraid of them leaving. But I'm hearing direction, capable. 
So you're being called to choose, switch gears, reboot, try a different direction. Yeah, I feel like they're walking away. I'm hearing like, you know, maybe even sometimes walking away uh, might cause someone to have like a big, a big change. Or even I'm seeing someone expressing how they feel even. Maybe someone wasn't expressing how the person was making them feel. So they thought what they were doing was okay. I'm seeing someone tell everyone else but that person about how they made them feel. You can deal successfully with whatever circumstances and challenges arise. Oh, 1616, and I was just thinking about the number 15. Let me see. The devil, wow. This is devil energy right here. I mean, just like, I don't know. Just a lot of restrictions, I'm seeing. I'm going to read this. You have forgotten that you are... You are a spirit that cannot be hurt. Unfortunately, you have been acting purely. This this book is kind of like, um, it's got, got a lot of typos in it. You are a spirit, or oh, unfortunately, I can purely inform. And those emotions have brought to you, have brought you into a space of darkness and restriction. This card can often represent addictions and how negative forces are holding you back from being the best version of yourself. See this as an opportunity to be unbiased and consciously aware of these formalities so that you may break the chains to reveal the authenticity what? Authenticity of your truest self. Authenticity. That's a word. Ooh, shit. Look at that stuff. Okay, and then when I saw 1616, it's the tower. That's the tower, so I'm seeing something has to, you know, something something has to <sighs> fall apart so something can be built on a firm foundation. I'm getting two stories, that's why this could go both ways. Like, somebody really has to release this person. But I'm also seeing someone ha also having to communicate how they feel, how this person's making them feel. I'm seeing this person doesn't even know that they make you feel that way. So you take it as it resonates. Um, you know, if you need a fucking personal reading, let me know. Okay, the tower. But I'm seeing two, and I'm seeing a different direction. Mm. I, I'm seeing so much different stories. That's why when you do it for a collective, yeah? When you do it for everyone. Um, so, wise investments. Let me just carry on with this. I gotta light a goddamn cigarette. I'm all over the place. Clinging. Hey, yeah. Uh, Mm. Mm. I don't know, I do see a lot of good energies coming. I see a god and a goddess that really value themselves, that people really like serve them. Like I'm seeing like somebody really honors this masculine and feminine energy. Like maybe they're um fucking shamans or something really well respected within their community the, when these two come together in their purest form in their purest essence i'm seeing something new though i really am i'm seeing something new i'm 
and seeing a god and this queen bee. And they got all the worker bees around them. I'm not seeing them like shout orders and shit either. I'm seeing like people willingly wanting to be around them. I'm seeing like a community, like a garden and everything. And everybody just really working together. Everybody playing their part. Okay, oh, let's read this tower. The tower is a representation of destruction. Shocking change, liberation, and freedom. Where you were once trapped by the devil. Oh, fuck. And I just said 15, right? Oh, we just read the devil. Okay, so somebody was really trapped. Somebody was trapped. Like, I try to ease up. I don't want everybody to be splitting up. So that's why if it doesn't resonate, it don't resonate. I'm, like, speaking for the ones that are stuck in sticky situations and maybe entering sticky situations. You know, because the sticky ones don't want them to move on. Okay. But it goes a lot of ways, okay? Because when I do a lot of personal reading, especially for the feminines, like, I get good-ass readings. Like, very, very positive energy. So, like, that's why when it's for the collective, a lot of shit comes up. But acknowledge, acceptance, accountability. A A A. <laughs> oh, triple A, I just heard. Watch your cars. We got a lot of rain here. Everybody watch your cars. Make sure you got fucking A A A. Trip that triple A or fucking, you know, a cold company on speed dial and shit. Watch your cars. Just be safe. Oh. Bro, I'm seeing so much right now. I just heard heard for your body too. You know, keep your bodies. Keep your bodies, keep your minds right. You're spiritually fit as well. A lot of shit going down, you know? A lot of shit going down. Okay, here we go. Where you once were trapped by the devil, you now see those same once comforts, comforts as the hindrance they truly are. As the clouds of misfortune rain down, your eye opened, struck down and deemed this form to be no longer acceptable by your spiritual consciousness. And with this realization, with both your generations before and behind you, on your back, you will jump and fall face first into the light. This may be... This may not be a welcome moment, but it is necessary. When the tower is revealed, it is time you let something go. This may be some type of breakup, breakdown, natural disaster, or generally the loss of something that used to cause you to feel secure. Releasing this form now will help you embrace and identify with the light. Have courage, let go, it's time for something better. So I feel like you and this person that's coming towards you that you're mirroring, the lovers, the divines are orchestrating this. The divines are causing tower moments in your life to bring you two together. I'm seeing that bamboo energy. Did I sing it in here? I'm not sure. I can't even remember. But bamboo by Kimmy Minor. M I N E R. Um, the divines are bringing these two together, though. And it's like you guys are both learning to weather the storms. You guys are both experiencing these tower moments. So when you two come together, you guys will be fucking firm and strong. Look at that. Look at that. The two hawks. I mean, god damn. <laughs> The two hawks too, I guess, but the two swans. Recharge. When the pace of life becomes too hectic, know to slow down. Be mindful and go with the flow. So you guys are both learning how to go with the fucking flow right now. The ebbs and the flows, weathering the storms. 
and I'm seeing it so you can find your place of comfort. So you can know where to go, where you feel safe when it's stormy. Like, who do you want to weather the fucking storms with? Because there's going to have things that may block your paths. And who are, who are you willing to go through the challenges with, you know? 25-25. The chariot. The chariot making your moves. Going ready for change. Change. Success. Alright, I love y'all. I really want to close this out. Did I get an angels and ancestors for this? I'm pretty sure I did. Alright. And if I didn't, it's all good. Um, this is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate. If you want to book a personal reading, you're well welcome to check out the information in the description box. Give it a like. Comment what resonates. If you feel called to. If you feel like it. Aloha.